Here's exactly what happens to your beach house if Earth suddenly snagged two extra moons. So the first thing isn't the tides, it's the light. With three lunar surfaces reflecting sunlight, nighttime basically stops existing. You'd have this perpetual, eerie twilight that's bright enough to read a book by, which would totally wreck the circadian rhythms of everything from owls to insomniacs. But uh, here's the kicker. The real violence happens in the water. Right now, the moon drags a bulge of water around the Earth. If you add two more moons and they line up perfectly, a move scientists call a syzygy, those gravitational vectors stack. They don't just lift the water, they yank it. We aren't talking about a gentle high tide. We're talking about a wall of water rising hundreds of feet, rushing inland at the speed of a galloping horse. Here's the reality anchor. Look at Jupiter's moon Io. It has multiple other moons tugging on it so hard that the solid ground physically bulges up and down by 300 feet every orbit. That friction turns the rock into magma. So on a three-moon Earth, that gravitational kneading would trigger massive volcanic eruptions everywhere. You'd basically be surfing a 200-foot tide while dodging lava bombs. I think I'll just stick to the one moon, even if the rent is cheaper in the disaster zone.